All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at a quick view on um, how to create a uh, assignment in Google Classroom. Um, here's our teacher view, starting from the stream page. We're going to go ahead and go to classwork. Um, if you already have a topic, you know, one of these three that um, you're creating your assignment for, you do not have to create another topic. Uh, but in this case, I'd like to go through how to do that real quick. We're going to hit create and topic. Uh, the topic can, can be just about anything um, for your curriculum. Filling project. I'm going to hit, hit add. Now that I have my topic, I can move it around. Uh, say it's the most recent thing or the most uh, important thing that I'm working on right now. I can move to the top. Yes, I wish I could just drag it up there, but I cannot for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create the assignment for, uh, for it. I'm going to go back to create. Hit assignment. Now, if I have multiple Google Classrooms or if I um, handle multiple grades, um, I'm going to go ahead and select here, especially if it's an assignment that I want every student in every different classroom that I have. Um, most of your elementary, you're only maintaining one classroom um, with one group of self-contained students. But in this case, I've got other classrooms, but I'm going to leave it selected as just the one. If this is an assignment for my entire class, it defaults to everybody, but hypothetically, maybe I want just the first five wonderful teachers to get it. Excuse me, seven. Um, go ahead and select. That way, only those students will get that material. Let's go ahead and ask, uh, uh, put a title in. So let's say bucket filling project. Excuse me. Part one read the directions and complete and complete the work let's fix that spelling after you finish please not my best day typing work on lesson materials in Zern. Well, there's a reason I added that last part of the instructions. I will illustrate shortly. Um, points, this could be anything you want. I'm going to leave this ungraded. Uh, due date, if you're stressing those, let's go ahead and go a couple of days out. Now, topic, please make sure that you are grabbing the exact topic that you intend this to be in. Bucket filling. Okay. Now, at the bottom, we've got multiple options. Paperclip, this is usually for PDFs, it could be uh, pictures, it could be, this is typically read-only material, okay? Uh, the Google Drive function, uh, most of the time if you're doing real digital assignments, this is where the actual student work is recorded on, uh, basically where you're assessing from. YouTube, uh, pretty self-explanatory, I'm going to, I will illustrate that, and then a web link. Um, let's start with Google Drive. It always defaults to recent, so if you've actually been interacting with the student classwork that you need, it will be there ready to go. Uh, but there are functions to find the student work in your regular drive, team drives if you're part of a shared experience, and starred material for the really important stuff. Okay, I'm going to go back to recent because what I need is right here. Okay. Now, here is the most common error that I find in setting up assignments in Google Classroom is right here. There are three options. Students can view file. This is for read-only materials, typically. Students can edit file. I've almost never used that. That means 25 kids in the room can edit the same master document. And often, it's your only copy of that document. So I'd be very, very careful about the second option. But more often than not, you need the third. Make a copy for each student. Um, in this case, I've also asked students to do some work on Zern. So I'm going to go ahead and add a web link for the website as well. So that way, all the materials that they need for this particular exercise are all in one spot. Now, if I hit assign, it's just going to populate the topic right away. Students will get instant access. I do have the ability to save it as a draft so I could push it out later or schedule when it does get pushed out to, to the student's classwork site. Um, I'm going to back out of that. We're just going to simply assign.
And as you see, we have an assignment all up, ready to go, right at the top of our project. Um, look for other videos with communicating and grading. I hope this uh, video did not go too long and uh, is helpful. Thanks.